Okay, to have uh, some additional fun with voicemail, you should be able to make use of certain troubleshooting tools and utilities that live on the shoreware server. Um, I think everybody that's had some experience with the Shortel uh, troubleshooting tools know that um, you have to get yourself into this directory here in a DOS window. Program file, short telecommunications, shoreware server. There are a variety of um, exe files that uh, live there. Some of them are very familiar to you. Burn flash, uh, um, the phone CTL command, the IPBX command. These are all useful tools when troubleshooting or debugging uh, issues that uh, you as a technician or a system administrator may encounter uh, on a short system. So the one I want to focus on here is this one here called CFG XE. This one is particularly useful for generating debug information or testing your voicemail automated attendance system. Notice down here that we've got uh, a prompt local, you know, it's asterisk local slash slash. Uh, we're inside that DOS window. It's important that you realize that uh, the CFG utility can damage the system. So don't try this at home without adult supervision. You need to know what you're doing here. Uh, the the, the commands that you run at this prompt are going to be displayed in this DOS window or they will be in um, the voicemail log file. So you can hit the car excuse me the question mark here and it'll bring up a list of uh, commands that are very useful in debugging voicemail. So let me show you a few of the more popular ones. Um, we can have some fun and games with uh, calling a, uh, call a particular telephone. And if I type that command, it generates the prompt. And as you can see here, somebody in a, a short tell development team has a sense of humor because uh, Fred Flintstone is really the person here who calls you when you generate this uh, call command. Again, useful um, debug troubleshooting tool. We can uh, use the lamp command to, um, excuse me, turn on a particular message waiting lamp. That sent a message waiting notification to mailbox uh, 115, and it set set the message waiting indicator on that phone to one. Um, we can also turn around and turn that message waiting off. So that's uh, fairly useful. We can get inside a particular mailbox with the open so I am now inside of mailbox um, 115 and at, at that point we can do things like purge deleted messages we can actually restore some messages there's an RST message to uh, command that will um, copy the WAV file back in. We can take a look at um, a list of message servers available in this installation with um, the lserve command. And I can see that I've got three uh, different servers here. Bronx happens to be an SGV switch. Uh, this is a DVM and this is the headquarters server. We can generate the lsys command 
and this will give us a wide variety of information about the headquarters server, everything from disk storage, whether out dial uh, message notification is enabled, global mailboxes, whether housekeeping is enabled. There's just uh, a lot of good information uh, that can be displayed about th the particular mail server. Uh, LTAPI, L-T-A-P-I, will let you know what the TAPI service providers are, the connections uh, to this uh, server. They tend to match um, system mailbox extensions, and that, um, that would be very useful if you're experiencing any type of uh, voicemail server connect errors. Um, what else can we take a look at here? Uh, we can list the LM box information here, and we can see for mailbox 1.5 that LM box was the command we generated. We can see who the personal assistant is for that mailbox, uh, whether envelope information is enabled, who the name of the mailbox owner is. There is um, information about trunk access information, the extension number being dialed. Um, you will see the find me, follow me number for that uh, particular mailbox. So there's a lot of useful debug information that you can find out about the voice message mailboxes associated uh, with the short tail voicemail system. Uh, we've been able to place calls, we can turn on message waiting lamps, we can get uh, server information, we get the number of servers uh, that the system has available to it. There's uh, quite a bit of message manipulation. Uh, you can actually get information about particular messages if you have the message ID. So. This is, again, a useful place to go for learning more about the short help voicemail system, the, con the uh, specifics about its configuration, and the specifics about a particular voicemail box. So having said that, I hope you found this to be an interesting and an informative video, and I thank you for watching.